looking a bit, you know, clean walking through the city of downtown Victoria, but you know what? It is what it is. That was actually a good ride. I met so many amazing people on the bus. They actually asked for my YouTube channel, so I know you guys are going to be watching this, so shout outs to you for subscribing to my channel. Day three of Juan de Fuca, and today we're gonna to be going to Sombrio. It's close from Chin Beach, which is about only six kilometers away. And from there, where some of us are gonna part ways, and some of us are, some people are gonna be deciding whether they should continue on with the hike. I know that me, Louisa, and Nali wants to finish the hike, so we're gonna do that. And we also need to discuss whether or not we want to do it in four days or five days. The thing is, I just, the issue with that is that I don't know if I packed enough food for five days. I only packed initially for four, but I actually just went over my my food stock and I have more than enough for the next five days. So for the next couple of days. So if we, even if we were to do it in five days, like I think I'll be good. As soon as I took out my camera, I was hoping for like a little vlog conflict, you know? Some drama. Yeah, Some drama. Originally, this is the trail, but it's very muddy. Over here is just the beach, but we don't know how the tide is going to be on that end. I just kind of sat in the middle with Molly, of course. We're kind of deciding where to go, but I think everyone's going to do the beach route now, which is nice. Been decided? Been yep. decided. Okay. <laughs> Beach it is. So, the dude just saved us. He's like, there's no way you can walk along the water. So we were right. Let's do a little high five here, Alex. We were right. We just Nobody had faith in us. Even Molly. How dare you, Molly? <laughs> Date. The trail at the start was a mixture of up and down, a lot of mud for sure, reminding me of yesterday. But we, or I came across a couple of people that were heading the opposite direction. They were saying after that, it's just gonna be fairly flat. Pretty much on. Oh, anyways. The people behind us said we were going the wrong way. Louisa and Nali are just ahead. But what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The people that I met going the opposite direction, they were just saying that it's cruise control after that. It's fairly flat. Look how photogenic this spot is. I literally just want to fly my drone here and just have it like fly straight through. But I got to conserve my battery because uh, I flew it earlier and I gotta charge both of my batteries now. But anyways, it's raining quite a bit today and I hope we get some sun once we get to Sombrio. But I mean, it feels nice, honestly. It feels so cool. It's not too hot. <laughs> I think we're on the last leg to Sombrio because I can see 
the beach over on that area and there's also a bunch of tents so we're nearly there i can't wait to have lunch because i'm hungry weather is not it's not beach weather just put it that way it's raining a little bit but you know what we're gonna tr still try to enjoy it and soak it all in still beautiful here though camping out here for the night at Sombrio but I'm gonna head to bed early because it's gonna be an early one for me tomorrow I'm gonna be hiking from Sombrio to well pretty much towards the end so from here to Botanical it's about 19 kilometers I'm gonna do that tomorrow instead of doing it for five days I think Louisa and Nali are gonna be doing two more days to complete to complete the trek and then everyone's just kind of parting ways from here I'm gonna hit the bed I think I'm just gonna combine the two vlogs together because I don't think there's much content from today just because it was a fairly short hike so i'm going to combine day three and day four so yeah because otherwise i it won't be enough for just one video and um, let's just fast forward to the next day and i'll see you guys tomorrow such a good sleep and today is a big day because I'm doing about 19 kilometers from Sombrio all the way down to Botanical. I'm looking to finish the trek today. I still can't speak too too loud because there's still a lot of people sleeping around me but I'm gonna get packed up, have a little bit of breakfast, soak in the sun. Look at this view. Honestly, there's nothing better than waking up in your tent by the water. I don't care if you're in a villa, if you're in a luxurious hotel. This, this is one of my favorite places to wake up to. And there's just something about hearing the waves crashing first thing in the morning. And even like before you go to sleep at night, it's just so mesmerizing. It's so beautiful. But... I'm gonna have breakfast, I'm gonna pack up my things, soak in this view for the last time. It looks like we're still not gonna get some sun today. Juan de Fuca, Cuatro Dias, it's been four days and it's been fun. Got a big day ahead of me, but I'm ready to go. It's just about 7 a.m. right now. And uh, we got hills for breakfast. I was told that the trail is actually going to be poorly marked and it starts right where the cliff is which I think is this once again luckily it's low tide uh, because I've heard of people doing this when it's high tide and it's not passable obviously but I'm going to continue going forward hopefully hopefully I can find the trail and not hopefully I know I will it's somewhere around here that's for sure take two I definitely found the trailhead 
I'm stoked. I'm stoked that this is the right way and that I found it. There's the orange buoy. Yeah, it's poorly marked for sure. You can't even spot it, but that helps though. So, yeah. Low Coochie is three kilometers away, but it doesn't matter. I'm doing about 19 to 20 kilometers today, so. Another bridge, and apparently this is called the Minute Creek. <laughs> Juan, de F Juan de what? Oh, well, Juan de Fuca, we're gonna get there. Tess. Oh, shout outs to Tess. She knows what's up. We're definitely gonna get there after we pass another bridge over this creek. The first leg of the trail, hilly and then flat and then mud. I think I have, I'm at the 32 kilometer mark, I believe. At least approaching it. There's a, there's another orange marker. We'll see if it's a 32 mark or 33. I'm thinking 32, but let's see. Uh, yep, 32. Just taking a little break right now. I just passed Little Coochie Creek campsite and it's about 9 a.m. right now. So I did about 5k because I started in East Sombrio, which is 28, and that's past the 33k mark. So I'm doing about 5k per two hours, which is not bad. If I keep this pace up, I should be a botanical in less than eight hours, hopefully. So when you're camping out here, if you don't register online, you're supposed to pay, I think it's $10 or something. And then you're supposed to put the envelope here. And yeah, it's $10 per adult per night. And it's for anyone over 16. And if you're younger than that, then it's $5 per person. But uh, yeah, you're supposed to bring an envelope. That's one thing. Or if you want, you can just slip in the money here, but it's better to bring an envelope. But uh, yeah, right now, this is Parkinson's Creek. It's the parking lot over there. And Paisant Creek is this way, three kilometers. And I have to continue going this way. I'm going through another muddy patch again. And because I don't have poles, I'm having to use my hands to just grab onto things. But one thing this trail has taught me is that if you see any puddles like this, that means it's really, really deep. Like I took a first step over there and I'm just like, nope, it's really deep. So I try to use the branches on the ground or if there's like footprints like that, that means that it's safe. So I'm just gonna try to balance myself right now. So that part is safe. Whereas the ones with water, I don't know if you guys can see the one with a little pool in them. Those ones are really deep. Looks like somebody left their last piece of gum here this can't happen it's gotta go in the bin seven kilometers away it's only 12 I'm stoked I'm hyped Ooh, look at this view I'm gonna post up here have some lunch because it just looks like an epic spot to have lunch you know mm -hmm. 
destination botanical beach one kilometer away so close i can smell it and i can i can also smell myself so i can't wait to take a hot shower once i get to Bot botanical beach i'm gonna get picked up by gabe he's been nice enough to offer me a ride shout outs to gabe thank you so much for picking me up a botanical the last 1k man and it is i gotta check the time Ooh. it's 204 p.m not bad i might actually finish this in by 2 30 hopefully so overall wait let me finish let me finish the last kilometer first and the last leg of this hike before i give my conclusion into this hike Back to civilization. 218. Whew. Can't wait to take a hot shower. Not gonna lie. <sighs> I just met these guys here. I'm so glad to have finished. And they also finished. So you know what? I think it's only right if we do like a high five, a stranger high five. Hey, ball <laughs> <Mike. laughs> and hi buddy. Yeah, good job. Like, you you took him out too? Yes. Yeah, he wow. Hey, he's done the he's done every route, the adventure routes, dogs. everything. Really? How many days did you guys do? Five. Um, five, yeah. five? Okay. Oh, I'm just so glad to be done. <laughs> I'm gonna put this camera down because it's so heavy. I've been lugging this thing for four days. Okay, so the thing is, I don't have reception here and I have to message Gabe because right now it's not sending and I have to let her know that I'm here. Alejandra said they were gonna be here around three or four, but obviously I'm here a bit early, so I'm hoping to catch a reception and hopefully they make their way here because otherwise I'm gonna be staying here for a couple of hours. And I don't really wanna do that. So, got a little problem. I texted Gabe and I finally got connection at this pub behind me and I got Wi-Fi, but apparently the town doesn't have any cell service whatsoever. He texted me and he said that he might not be able to pick me up. In fact, Ali's not feeling well, so he's probably, well, they suggested I stay here. And because Louisa and Nali are gonna be picked up here tomorrow, I, they suggested that it's better for them to come here tomorrow instead. But the problem is a lot of the places here, I just looked online for accommodation, I, are, are either like fully booked, you have to reserve it, two days prior to your actual stay and so that's one issue the other issue is um, food there's a lot of places here just that just serves dairy as well as meat and so I'm I'm more concerned about food because I finished all of my food because I thought I was gonna be coming back to Victoria today so I'm sorting that out right now I think I'm gonna go ahead and book a a bus as a shuttle that comes here in about two hours that takes me back to Victoria and I think it's about like $55 and so I'm gonna try to book from here and then depending on what time I get to Victoria I might just shoot straight back to Vancouver or maybe just find a hotel but I know one thing's for sure like accommodation is much easier to book in Victoria and also for food it's much easier for me because I am completely out of food at the moment so that's what I'm trying to sort out right now I booked the West Coast Trail Express and it's coming here at 5.45 in about two hours. And it's gonna drop me off right at Victoria. I ordered food in the meantime. I'm having some quinoa as well as some fries. Stoked to have this, so I'm gonna put the camera down and just, just eat, to be honest. Mm. I've been lugging this thing since day one and I can't wait to throw it away. Two hours later, I'm finally in Victoria. I had to take that shuttle over there that took me from Port Renfrew 
down here to Victoria. My hotel is actually just four minutes away. Looking a bit, you know, clean walking through the city of downtown Victoria, but you know what? It is what it is. That was actually a good ride. I met so many amazing people on the bus. They actually asked for my YouTube channel, so I know you guys are going to be watching this, so shout outs to you for subscribing to my channel. And there is the bus. $55 well spent. Now I gotta find this hotel because I can't wait to take a hot shower. Look at how messy this kid is. Oh, bed. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is my view. I can't see it. This is my view. This is where I'm gonna be staying for the night. Glad I made it here. Finish the check at 2.30. It's now 11. Quite a long ways to get here, but I met so many amazing people along the way, which is nice. That's what I love about solo adventures is that i don't know you just meet random people but there's a noodle box just across the street i'm gonna get food because noodle box is one of my favorite places to eat i'm gonna order to go because they close in about one hour and uh yeah i'm gonna put my camera down I'll see you guys in a bit much needed food from noodle box right after noodle box though right after dinner I wanted to get some snacks because I just really wanted to relax today, watch TV, in bed, over here, while having snacks. So I bought a bunch of snacks, got the vegan ice cream, a must, craving some sweets, hard bite, because you know, I don't know, hard bite is just a play, to be honest. And then I got some mango juice. I was gonna get kombucha, but I felt like drinking something sweet, so I, I got this instead, but I'm so excited. This is pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for the evening. These are my snacks. I'm gonna watch some TV. Hopefully there's something good on TV, and I'm just gonna chill out, but first I'm gonna shower. I'm just gonna have a relaxing evening, so I'm gonna cut this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this whole entire series, this Juan de Fuca Adventures especially in the last day here. It's been, some of it has been last minute changes and I've kind of had to adapt. And I think that's the beauty of what traveling had taught me is that things don't always go as planned and you have to think on your feet and you can't really beat yourself up and say that, oh damn, this didn't happen. It's always coming up with solutions and, and all that stuff. And I know Gabe and Alejandra were tired and that's completely fine. They didn't want to come get me from Victoria all the way to here because it takes about two hours. Luckily, I met people along the way and they told me how to get back to Victoria. I booked a hotel very, very last minute and everything worked out perfectly. That's the thing, everything always works out for you, right? So enough chit chatting. I gotta spoil myself for the evening and have a relaxing night. Overall, it was such an amazing hike. If you are here on the island, I highly suggest to add this as one of your hikes here and bring rain gear and bring pack light pack light i did pack light but because of my camera gear everything was fairly heavy and overall great hike nonetheless i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet please please it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button i'll see you guys in the next video peace